This is Brad with Right Glass, and today we're going to talk about securing the cap on a curtain wall glazing system. Now the signature of a curtain wall is this deep pocket in the back. This is offset glazing, so the glass is pushed out towards the outside of the building. This is the very narrow profile um, cap that goes on over the curtain wall pressure plate. We're going to go over this in more detail, but the AP25 surface mount system mounts on this cap. And you can see that that is just a compression cap that is snapped on. So if we screw into just that cap and someone's beating on this window with a sledgehammer, this whole cap could pop off with our system mounted to it. So in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to secure this cap before you mount the AP25 surface mount system. So behind this cap is what's called the pressure plate. The pressure plate is bolted in with those hex head bolts. And this is a thick pressure plate right here. This is thick aluminum and the cap is thin aluminum. And you can see the bolt down there holding that thick aluminum pressure plate onto the glazing system. And we're going to put our screw through the cap into the outside to the outboard side of that screw away from the glass. And that's really important. We do not want to get on the right side in this case because we would be into the glass. We're going to measure it so that we know to put our screw to the left of that bolt. So we're safe. There's no way we're going to break the glass. When you come across a curtain wall system, you want to pull off one cap, only one, so that you can make sure you get all of your measurements and you know where you're going to be putting your screws through the cap into the pressure plate. As we'll show you, it really only takes a few minutes to pop one off and then you can get your measurements and pop it back on. Now we took the pressure plate off just to show you how it mounts on. Now, this is part of the regular OEM glazing system and you're not going to be taking this off, but the way it works is this screw goes into this channel here. It's very secure. It really holds that pressure plate on. It is not coming off. And above that, you can see the glass stop, that black glass stop, and the glass edge right there. So we want to be underneath that channel that the screw goes in to make sure we're well away from the glass. Now, you're not going to be removing the pressure plate, but I wanted to remove it in this video just to show you how this thing bolts on and how secure it is. And also, it's important for you to see what's behind here so that you can see how to stay away from that glass. You see this bottom rubber? It tracks along right on top of where those holes are, where the bolts go through. So the bolts are actually going through the rubber and it, it seals it extra tight. So there's two layers of rubber, one at the glass and one down on the other side of these holes. And I'll just speed it up here so you can see these are bolted in very securely. And that pressure plate clamps the glass into place and it is not coming off easily. So here's a profile of the pressure plate with the cap on. There's the cap. And you can see this is the pressure plate and we are screwing the cap to the pressure plate. Here's the bolt that holds the pressure plate onto the glazing system right through the rubber. The holes go through the rubber and that you're not going to be dealing with. What you're going to be dealing with then is what comes next and that is screwing this cap into that pressure plate right here. And in just a minute I'm going to show you how to countersink and secure that screw. This is the wedge and the panel, or some shims that are quarter inch to, to show you how thick the panel would be. And you're gonna be mounting just below that nub there. So you can see where my thumb is. That's called the daylight opening of the curtain wall, the top of the cap right at the window. And then we're gonna lower it down a little bit so that your screw isn't competing with this barb of metal here. And when you pull off the cap, you're gonna be able to see all of that. And you'll be able to measure down. So you'll just put a tape measure up against this now exposed pressure plate and you'll be able to see where your screw is going to be ideal and that's in that flat portion right there beneath that barb and remember this screw is only three quarter inch long so it is not going to protrude through the pressure plate or into the glass because this is the screw that mounts the ap25 system on not the screw that's holding the pressure plate cap on so i want to make sure that you're clear on that this line just tells me exactly where I want my screw that's gonna hold that curtain wall cap on. And I'm just gonna mark this all the way down so I have nice even holes, and then I measure with a tape measure the distance. We want those at least every eight inches, so one real close to the edge and then every eight inches. And that's plenty to hold the pressure plate cap on. Notice we are countersinking every single hole for this part of the application. This drill bit has a countersink tool built in. We highly recommend that. So you're drilling through the cap into the pressure plate, through the pressure plate, then you're countersinking, and then you just go at the end and put all your screws in. Really will save you a lot of time. 
Couple of rules of thumb, we're putting the screws on the outside of the system. So if you look closely, you can still see the screws that are holding the pressure plate cap on, just barely on the outside of our system. Don't torque those in too tight or you will bend the cap and you'll get distortions. We're not trying to cinch it down real tight. We're just securing it in place. So you wanna make sure you don't have those indentations. Here's from the inside. It's a real clean looking system, guys. I think you'll have no problem with this. Just to recap, here's your glass. Here's your AP25 panel. Up here is your pressure plate. It's clamping the glass in. Here's your bolt that holds the pressure plate on. And here's the screw you're going to put in that's countersunk holding that cap on. And so of course here's your AP25 screw and you can see that's just a three quarter inch screw and it's only in the cap. So you're well clear of that pressure plate, but the pressure plate is secured. So we do not need to be in the pressure plate with this screw. I'm just gonna scroll down here to the sill, the bottom of the window, and you can see we've got the glass setting block, which you saw in the earlier part of the video. There's your glass, here's your pressure plate. Here's the bolt that holds the pressure plate on. Here's the cap. And of course the screw that you just put in, the countersink screw. Here's the AP25 panel, the wedge the AP25 screw and the cap. I hope that helps you better understand how to install the AP25 surface mount system on a curtain wall glazing system. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you on the next video.